What's up, Scrollsers? It's the Nerf here, and today I'll be spectating and commentating over this ranked match between Blinky and Tajik. Blinky is currently rated in the mid 1800s and is a longtime community contributor, an in game moderator, and a fantastic player. He's a Scrolls YouTube channel I'll link below if I remember to, and he's a member of the Badger Guild. Tajik is rated in the mid 1700s right now, and he is a member of the French Spirit Scrolls Guild. He is also a very strong and respected player through success on the rank ladder and in tournaments. I do have a few of No Heroes mods installed, which I think will make the spectate videos a bit better. The game log on the left side of the screen will probably help me and you understand what's going on, and the paint feature will let me explain things like a football play or something. So let's get on with the match. Blinky is playing Mono Decay and has the luxury of going first. He's a pretty good starting hand. Turn 2 Trisman is a great early wall and he's a soul steal to deal with any of Tajik's early creatures. And the game has begun. Blinky drew another Soul Steal. See what he sacrificed here. The early Loyal Darkling. Not a great early play, and he already has a 2 drop, anyways. Uh, Tajik does not have the best starting hand, so he mulligans. And this time, it's slightly better. He does have turn 3 uh, State Machines, and he has a Copper Automaton. Blinky gets rid of one of his Soul Steals and plays the turn 2 Trisman. Oh. And Tajik can actually engage a Trisman with a Copper Automaton right now. But, uh,. We know knowing Blinky is a soul steal, he shouldn't do that. We'll see if he does it though. Um, it's probably the play I would make. So he, Tajik, very smart, holds off expecting a soul steal. And that's the third soul steal, right, that Blinky's drawn. So uh, he goes ahead and sacrifices that. And even though he couldn't soul steal anything, he does have a harvest to play, lucky for him. And now Tajik is probably going to play a state machine this turn. Or he could play a copper automaton and a higher smuggler. We'll see. Tajik plays the state machine and he will pass his turn. Yeah, Blinky's up, and uh, he top a 4-drop for him, so he's going to go ahead and play that right away. He will take 1 damage from the state machine, so that is burnable, but we don't. We, Tajik does not have a burn in hand yet. Now, Tajik has a Stone Enigma. I'm sure that's there to counter uh, some people running with uh, Halls of Amlasa, and even that uh, Skull Shrine from Energy. Tajik this turn just lays on the pressure with the Copper Automaton and plays a higher Spawner as well. Unfortunately for Blinky, he just sacrificed all 3 Soul Steals in the deck. Uh, so Tajik... Wisely plays these low health creatures after uh, the time on like turn 3 and stuff where Blinky would have soul stole. But Blinky does play a uh, very uh, threatening unit in the lifestyle. He will heal the damage from the state machine in due time. Uh, Tajik sacrifices for scrolls, has an ironclad reaver. He will probably play next turn. This turn, probably a fulmination conduit. Um, he could always play the stone enigma and get energy out of it, anyways. Uh, but I'm sure he expects Blinky to play Halls of Elmas, it's what most decay decks do. Uh, I do think Blinky actually doesn't have Halls of Omos in his deck right now. Uh, he's kind of running more of an old school Mono Decay deck, like very human heavy with Witch Doctors and uh, maybe even Watcher Geddon. Um, used to be actually one of like the best decks in Scrolls, but then slowly it was nerfed and all the other decks just got slightly better, and we haven't really seen uh, Mono Decay be much of a force. And I guess I'll talk about Taji's deck a little bit here. Tajik seems to be playing an energy control deck, uh, like you see that Iron Ogre there, lots of removal it looks like. Um, get rid of the Iron Ogre here, does not go for resources to play the Iron Cloud River, I would have played the Iron Cloud River there, not sure what he's looking for, maybe a sudden eruption, because he's going to be able to blow up his Fulmination Conduit. Uh, Fulmination Conduit is buffed with the recent uh, patch, giving it 4 health, which I don't think makes it good enough to be played, but people are definitely testing it right now. Tajik plays a Copper Automaton, laying down the threats. And uh, there's a hired smuggler, and he's going to hit the idol to draw a scroll. He could have destroyed the uh, Blight Bear, but would bring the Rot Eater to 3 health. And now Blinky has uh, Languid, so he's going to nullify one of those uh, hired smugglers and kind of protect himself, not wanting that Copper Automaton to kill his Rot Eater. And there is his uh, Trizone healing to full health. And now it is Tajik's turn. Tajik looks behind on board control, but he could quickly turn it around with uh, sudden eruptions or thunder surges, which I'm um, pretty sure what Tajik would be running in an energy control late game ish deck like this. Uh, Tajik still holding on to that stone enigma. I mean, I would too against uh, Decay, knowing that if he plays Halls Hall of Malmasa, playing that is just a huge turnaround. But uh, I don't think Blinky's going to be playing Halls of Malmasa because I don't think he has it in his deck. So. Tajik will probably go to 5 here to play the Ironclad Reaver. 
or you can still go for scrolls, hope for a Thunder Surge or a uh, Sudden Eruption, because he could play anything he draws, considering he has a uh, Fulmination Kado he can blow up at any time. So, uh, Tajik thinking through his options. If he goes to 5, he can easily just play the Violent Dispersal the next turn, maybe on the Harvester or the Lifestealer before they attack. He does go to 5, and it looks like we're going to see the Ironclad Reaver come down. Maybe in a defensive role, we'll see. And it will also be interesting to see what Tajik wants to destroy with his Copper Automaton. Uh, he actually plays WoW, the Fulmination Condo. I was expecting the Ironclad Reaver. I guess, uh, I guess Tajik thinks that Blinky's Decay deck will have a hard time dealing with structures, but I definitely would have played the Ironclad Reaver this turn. Um, I mean, it wouldn't have a really great safe place to go, but uh, still, I'm not a huge fan of playing the Fulmination Conduit. And now Blinky uh, gets a couple Oblivion Seekers, so those will likely be the play the next couple of turns. And we'll see how he wants to position his units. He could actually destroy that front Fulmination Conduit. Uh, but I don't see it as a huge threat. He might end up destroying the Languided Smuggler, even though it's not doing any damage, just to get those Harvester to count down a little bit. And probably going to have to deal with it anyways, eventually. So I suspect we'll just see a Bloodman Seeker right here, and we do. Blinky is in a bit of a Thunder Surge uh, array, so Tajik hopes he can draw one of those. He has a Sudden Eruption now. Uh, so he can definitely go with a big Sudden Eruption. Um, if he activates one of those Fulmination Conduits, it would kill uh, three creatures on Blinky's side, and the Harvester would be able to attack, though. So he might want to uh, VD the Harvester this turn, um, and go with the go with the Sudden Eruption next turn. But then the Rot Eater goes to three health, which means it wouldn't die to just two damage. Tajik goes to six, and it looks like we might see a Valence Dispersal on the Harvester. Yes, we do. We could have seen how about the on the Life Stealer as well, another big threat. Tajik draws a scroll, another Fulmination Conduit, and uh, Blinky sacrifices Black Bear and now has a Darkling and a Watcher. So we've seen Blinky do a lot of L damage already. Uh, the pies are being eaten on Tajik's side of the board. So with a Darkling and Watcher in hand, I'm sure he has Necrogeddon too. Uh, Blinky is in a very good position here. Even as he's, he, yeah, he plays a Watcher here because he knows energy has removal. Um, but if he's going to use that direct, uh, direct uh, removal on his creatures, Blinky's going to deal some direct idle damage. Uh, so Blinky probably going to play the Rot Eater this turn and uh, deal some damage there. Tajik now, yeah, he has some interesting plays in his hand, but I mean, he could really play whatever he wants. He has two huge Fulmination Conduits on the board, so he can blow them up at any time. But I'm just not sure he has the scrolls to really come back from Blinky's onslaught here. Uh, I think before the match I would definitely say that Tajik deck would have the advantage. I mean, usually energy decks with a lot of structures like his, I mean, this is not like full on structure energy, but it does have a uh, good amount of structures. Usually they do well against a uh, Mono Decay. But Blinky's played really well here, and um, Tajik just like seems to want to get into destroying Blinky's future, but never really fully commits, and he does play the Sudden Eruption here. Uh, and now he looks like he's in an okay position if he can follow it up with another Sudden Eruption or Thunder Surge coming up. But if not, uh, it's not too good because Blinky's going to do more idle damage this turn. And he top decks some removal stuff. I think we're just going to see a Oblivion Seeker come down this turn. Very important for Blinky to keep the card draw going. Uh, so I guess with Blinky's idle damage he'll deal on this turn. He'll only need a couple Darklings to win. Maybe more than that. He also has a Watcher on the board. Uh, so Tajik's going to need some kind of quick board clear to be able to win this. So yeah, Blinky plays the Oblivion Seeker and spreads out his idle damage. So now two idols are destroyed by Darklings for Blinky, and one is left at three health. Now Tajik sacrifices for scrolls. He could have went for resources and played the uh, the, uh, but he needs he knows he needs scrolls to be able to come back in this game. He needs to find Thunder Surge and stuff like that. Thunder Surge would be very good here for him. Um, he still might not win, but it would go a long way. So I guess Tajik's just gonna play uh, Iron Cloud Ruru for obvious reasons, and. Uh, We'll see, he puts it he puts it down there, so he is gonna be able to be damaged by the rot eater. 
plays it a potion resistance, but potion resistance is not too great against the cape because of damage curse, which Blinky has in his hand. And he does play it, which destroys two of his creatures, but they are next to the Watcher, so he does get some idle damage on that. And uh, there's two idols down for Blinky. And uh, he has one Darkling in hand, we know that, so just another Darkling, he wins. He also has a Watcher on the board. Now, Tajik does top deck a Thunder Surge. Not as good here as it was a couple of turns ago, but I guess it's still effective here. He needs to get rid of that Watcher. Uh, we'll see if he wants to blow up that Fulmination Conduit. He does, so I guess uh, he's going to fill up the board, I guess. So, I guess you could play Fulmination Conduit, Thunder Surge, and Ironclad Reaver. Is that... I think that, that fits. So, he'll still f hold off on playing the Thea. But at least then he'll have more of a footing on the game. The Rot Eater is going to survive, and Blinky's going to draw scrolls from the Oblivion Seeker. So there is the uh, State Machine and the other two guys, and there you have it. So now Blinky draw has a Necrogen, he has a ton of things, but he has two Darklings. So he probably... Just gonna play, but yeah, both Darklings right here. Energy does not have things like Pothers or anything to get those things out of the way. So it looks like Blinky is gonna take this win. He actually just quickly win next turn with us in Necrogeddon. So, well played by Blinky. Um, seemed like he was kind of a step ahead through the whole match, having the early creatures too. And Tajik didn't get any like early burns or anything. There's his first burn. Uh, well probably see it on the rot eater yep and there's a uh, power trip but there's really nothing Tajik can do to win this now looks like Blinky's decay deck is going to beat a structure heavy energy deck up. so yeah I think Tajik's just playing around here I don't think he thinks he can possibly win this yeah there's not much he can do I mean he can't really get around with those dark ones they can sacrifice themselves in two turns yeah and Tajik just gonna Fury destroy the Darklings himself. So well played to Blinky. Good game. Uh, actually, it was pretty quick. Um, both players didn't take too much time in that game. Uh, in a more late game energy deck, control deck, and a mono decay deck, which is always mid game to late game. So thanks for watching, Scrollgers. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you all next time. Keep on scrolling, Scrollgers.